everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you the reasons why I have not purchased the Lady Dior bag yet. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I have an extensive-ish luxury bag collection. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, then I will go ahead and leave the link to the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. And every time I get comments on my videos like, why do you not have a Lady Dior in your collection? why is this piece missing so this is what i'm going to explain in this video so if you're curious to see it then please keep on watching all right so let's talk about the reasons why i don't have this bag yet in my bag collection and now you must be like what is going on lauren like back up one second this is a video about why this bag is not in your designer bag collection yet but you're holding the bag somehow and here is my trick so this is actually not a real bag, this is a replica. By the way, if you're interested in getting this particular bag or anything else from the fake factory, I will go ahead and leave all of the relevant information in the description box of the video down below. I've already collaborated with them in the past for two things and every time the quality is really, really on point. They've also sent me another item um, and I will do a fake versus real video on that one. But it's a fake factory that I would really recommend working with. They've been very professional, the quality is great, it looks nice, the packaging is well wrapped and then every time it looks gorgeous so this is actually a replica it looks just like the real one though um, and it's really nice because I've actually went to try on the real one in store obviously since this is such a popular handbag the thought has crossed my mind about a million times to buy this bag so I've been going back and forth I've been you know in the store like 15,000 times trying it on seeing different colors seeing different sizes um, by the way, this is a size small and it's in black with the gold hardware. Um, it's really, really beautiful. So let's move on to the reasons why I haven't purchased this bag. I think, you know, the number one reason at this point, to be very honest with you, is the price. And I know this is going to be really weird and some people are going to raise their eyebrows. Um, obviously, I have a lot of Chanel bags and I'm okay, <laughs> let's say okay with like a, huh? okay, dropping like $10,000 on a Chanel bag, but this bag, depending on the size that you get, is about $6,000 or $6,500. And for me, for a non-Chanel bag, $6,000 or $6,500 plus tax is like, <sighs> so expensive i'm like i don't think that i can stomach that um i can justify it for chanel somehow in my mind it works like the equation works in my head but for another brand any other brand for that matter than chanel it's not worth the price tag so the next reasons why i don't have this handbag yet have to do with the practicality of this particular bag and this particular size i do feel like for me the size small would work better. I wouldn't be opposed to size medium, but I would kind of favor the size small. And with the size small comes a big problem. So the size is cute, it looks good, you know, it's, it's gorgeous, but the handles are quite big compared to the size of the handbag itself. And with that come two problems. Number one, the handles tend to fall down very easily. Um, so they are not like holding in place like nicely. So they'll like fall down like this. Um, and it makes it really complicated to open the bag. So the bag doesn't have a zipper. The bag has like an inside compartment that looks like this. And then you have to kind of like open the flat part, which obviously, you know, you're risking like scratching the bag and everything every time that you have to do this. And then here is the inside of the bag. So for me, that just doesn't seem practical at all. See how I'm like, now I'm handling it and I'm like very, very careful because I know I have like claws. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really, really impractical. The handles are large. They are in the way of you opening the bag. The bag doesn't have a zipper. It has like a fold or like a flap part um, to mask like the main compartment, but 
it's just in the way again so it makes it very difficult to open the bag and then another thing with the size because the handles are kind of disproportionate to the size of the handbag they make the handbag itself fall down if not filled to the max so the handbag is standing on like these little feet um, that are very very sharp and also tiny compared to the handbag so that plus the fact that the handles are big make it really easy for the bag to fall down if you don't fill it like to the top with like heavy stuff so if you're like in a you know nice environment and you want to take pictures and stuff like that and you want to look you know cool <laughs> and your bag like bloops <laughs> fall down um i don't think that you have this like wow factor so for me in general this handbag does not seem practical at all the next reason why i haven't bought this bag yet has to do with the wear and tear and here obviously this is a bag that is in lambskin leather number one number two has a lot of hardware obviously around right here the handles and then it has this little decorative um Dior thing that kind of hangs on the bag so the first thing is lambskin leather i'm not very good with it um it may be fine for some people um and hear me out like you know it's very beautiful i obviously love the aesthetic of it um it's very like soft luxurious plush it kind of makes you feel like you're in a cloud gorgeous but really not for me again kind of impractical then if i have a bag that's in lambskin i do have one um and it's a Chanel 19 and i almost never take it out because it's in lambskin leather and then i tend to get in my head and overthink and start thinking like Ooh, don't take out this handbag you're gonna damage it what if this happens what if that happens think about the type of um, outfit that you have what if you're wearing dark fabrics obviously this bag is black so for this one it wouldn't happen but personally i wouldn't get a black one i don't think that i would need another black bag in my bag collection so i would pick like a color and i think that i would be like again so scared um, of using it that this wouldn't really get a lot of use in my bag collection so number one the problem of the leather number two really here the handles and this little thing make it such that you're always having like the leather that's rubbing on these like the decorative hardware that really for me is a recipe for a disaster um, in my mind it's not a bag that's going to last like a lifetime and you know it's not necessarily the goal of it but at that price point at like six thousand plus dollars quite frankly like i would be really upset if the bag lasted like two or three years um it would be fine if it was like three thousand dollars and i'd be like mm, okay sure like it's damaged there's a lot of wear and tear but it's fine but yeah for this price that's not something that i'm willing to accept the next reason why I'm still hesitating and I still have not purchased this bag is the strap. So actually this bag in size small comes with a strap and it can be worn as a crossbody bag. And so for this, I let go of the bag. Here is what the strap looks like. So it looks cute. I love the fact that it has like the Dior thing. Um, it has again, you know, the gold hardware. It looks great. But for me, here's the problem. It is very thick. Um, so if I put it like, you know, on top of my shoulders like this, which is where it would rest Obviously, it's kind of hard to see because I'm wearing something black But I'm gonna put it on top of my hair just so you see so it's very thick and for such an elegant handbag Just the fact that you're holding such a thick big strap. I'm just like mm, I'm not sure this looks like so pleasant so like aesthetic obviously this bag like screams you know aesthetic old money um it's kind of something that like princess diana was wearing so very very gorgeous but it's mostly going to be a top handle bag instead for me at least instead of like a crossbody bag simply because i'm not very fond of the strap i find it too large and kind of like working against the aesthetic of the handbag the handbag is like classy girly feminine you know aesthetic whatever but this really isn't i feel like they should have come up with another strap i'm not sure which one but not this one so having to carry this handbag as just a top handle makes it a little bit impractical 
And the last reason why I haven't gotten this bag yet is because of the lack of inside compartments. So even though the bag is pretty small, at the bottom the size small is only 20 centimeters. I tend to feel like I love compartments, um, even for small bags. Like for example, I have a Chanel mini rectangular right over there. Um, and even in that bag, there is a small compartment, you know, in case you want to add like I don't know, like a credit card, a metro card, like whatever, really, whatever it is, but really something that you want to keep separate from the rest, something that you want to, you know, have handy. There's also like a back pocket on the Chanel rectangular here, obviously there's not. So it really makes it not practical. That combined with the fact that um, there's no zipper and that the top is like a flap and that the handles are in the way every single second to open the bag, I'm just like, mm. This may not be like super worth it. I love the aesthetic and I feel like it's such like a, you know, like dream bag. It's such like a classy, girly, cute, like perfect bag for like high tea, you know, whatever kind of thing. But personally, because of all of these cons, I haven't been able to, to take that step and purchase this bag quite yet. Now, it doesn't mean that I will never do it but it means that so far this hasn't been like at the top of my luxury wish list. It is something that I have in the back of my head and it is something that I'm more or less always considering, but it hasn't been something that I have bought this year and I'm still kind of like, mm, <laughs> I'm not like entirely sure. I think if something better comes along, like if I see another handbag that I like best, then I would prefer to get that one. Um, this year I got um, the Dior body bag that I really, really loved. And then I also got a Goyard tote bag, um, which was perfect. It was like, like a third of the price, like a fourth of the price. And I mean, so practical, so handy. I love the look. I'm much more satisfied of that purchase than I would be from a Lady Dior bag. So these are all of the reasons why I haven't purchased this bag yet. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was informational for you in case you were also considering getting the Lady Dior bag and if you're one of the persons that always keeps commenting on my videos why I don't have the Lady Dior, I hope that you have your answer. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.